kids! Today, we will learn what are equivalent fractions and how to write the fractions in their simplest form. So let's start. Here are three fractions. This is 1 by 2 pizza. This is 2 by 4 pizza. This is 4 by 8 pizza. What you see here? These are all the same parts of a whole pizza, or they are all equal. That is, 1 by 2 equals 2 by 4 equals 4 by 8, as they are all representing the same portion of this pizza. So, they are equivalent fractions. Let's see more examples of equivalent fractions. The shaded portion in two figures is representing the same portion of this figure. But here, it is 2 by 3. And here, it is written 4 by 6. So, 2 by 3 and 4 by 6 are equivalent fractions, as both are representing the same part of the rectangle. Now, let's take another example. From this picture, you can see 1 by 4 equals 2 by 8 equals 4 by 16, as these two are representing the same portion of a rectangle. So kids, now you know what are equivalent fractions. Now let's learn how you can make equivalent fractions. Let's make equivalent fractions of 1 by 2. You have to multiply both the numerator and denominator with a same number. It can be 2, 3, 4, or just any number. Here we multiply both the numerator and denominator of 1 by 2 with 2. And we will get 2 by 4, which is the equivalent fraction of 1 by 2. Again, we will multiply both the numerator and denominator of 2 by 4 with 2, and we will get 4 by 8, which is an equivalent fraction of 2 by 4. You can see in the image 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 4 by 8 are all representing the same portion of the whole. So they are equivalent fractions. Now, let's take another example. Let's make equivalent fractions of 1 by 3. We know we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator with the same number to get the equivalent fractions. So, here we multiply with 3. Multiplying both the numerator and denominator with 3, we will get 3 by 9. So, 3 by 9 is an equivalent fraction of 1 by 3. Now let's multiply with 4. Multiplying with 4, we will get 4 by 12. So, 4 by 12 is also an equivalent fraction of 1 by 3. Kids, here is a picture to prove it. 1 by 3 equals 3 by 9 equals 4 by 12, are all representing the same portion of the figure. So kids, now you know how to make equivalent fractions. Kids, now we will learn how we can check whether two fractions are equivalent or not. Here are two fractions. Can you tell these fractions are equivalent fractions or not? Here is the method. For this, we have to write the fractions in their simplest form. Now let's see what is its simplest form. You have to divide both the numerator and denominator with the same number. It can be any number, 2, 3, or 4, whichever is a divisor of both numerator and denominator. First. Take the fraction with smaller numbers, 
1 by 2. We cannot divide the numerator and denominator with any number. So, it's already in its simplest form. Now, let's take the other fraction. It is 2 by 4. Here we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. 2 by 2 equals 1, so cut 2 and make it 1. 4 by 2 equals 2, so cut 4 and make it 2. So fraction left is 1 by 2, which is equal to the other fraction, which is also 1 by 2. So this proves that both the fractions are equivalent fractions. Now, let's take another example. Here are two fractions, 1 by 3 and 9 by 27. Can you tell these fractions are equivalent fractions or not? We will be using the same method. That is, we will reduce the fractions to their simplest form to know whether they are equivalent or not. We have to write the fractions in their simplest form. First take the fraction with smaller numbers. It is 1 by 3. We cannot divide the numerator and denominator with any common number. So, it's already in its simplest form. Let's take the other fraction. It is 9 by 27. Here we will divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So cut 9 and make it 3. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. So cut 27 and write 9. So the fraction left is 3 by 9. 3 by 9 can still be divided by a common number, 3. 3 by 3 equals 1, so cut 3 and write 1. 9 by 3 equals 3, so cut 9 and write 3. Remember, we can divide only with a number that can divide both the numerator and denominator. Now the fraction left is 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 is the simplest form of 9 by 27. So, we get 1 by 3 and 9 by 27 are equivalent fractions. As if we reduce them to their simplest form, they give same fraction. Now let's take another fraction. Let's check whether these two fractions are equivalent or not. Again. We have to reduce both of them to their simplest form to check whether these are equivalent fractions or not. First take the fraction with smaller number. It's 4 by 8. We can divide both the numerator and denominator with 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So cut 4 and write 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So cut 8 and write 4. And the fraction left is 2 by 4. We can again divide numerator and denominator with 2. 2 divided by 2, we get 1. 4 divided by 2, we get 2. So the simplest form of 4 by 8 is 1 by 2. Now reduce the other fraction to its simplest form. Let's reduce 16 by 32. We will be dividing both the numerator and denominator with 2. 16 divided by 2, we get 8. 32 divided by 2, we get 16. So cut 32 and make it 16. Now. Again, divide numerator and denominator with 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. So our fraction is now 
4 by 8. We can again divide both the numerator and denominator by 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So our fraction is now 2 by 4. We can still divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So our fraction is now 1 by 2. So the simplest form of 16 by 32 is also 1 by 2. So the simplest form of both the fractions is 1 by 2. So we can say 4 by 8 and 16 by 32 are equivalent fractions. Let's take one more example. Here are two fractions, 2 by 10 and 20 by 100. Let's reduce these fractions to their simplest form to check whether these are equivalent fractions or not. 2 by 10. Here we can divide both numerator and denominator by 2. Dividing 2 with 2, we get 1. Dividing 10 with 2, we get 5. So the fraction left is 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 is its simplest form. As we cannot divide numerator and denominator with any common number. Now let's take the other fraction. It is 20 by 100. We can both divide the numerator and denominator with 10. 20 by 10 equals 2. 100 by 10 equals 10. So the fraction left is 2 by 10. Again, divide 2 and 10 by 2. Dividing 2 with 2, we get 1. Dividing 10 with 2, we get 5. So the fraction left is 1 by 5, which is its simplest form, as we cannot divide it further with any common number. So both the numbers are reduced to their simplest form, which is 1 by 5. So we can say these are equivalent fractions. So kids, what we learned today. We learned what are equivalent fractions, how to make equivalent fractions, and also how to check whether the given fractions are equivalent or not. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.